Welcome to another video. This is Armas Kung Fu from SpiritsQA.com where you learn everything automation from the experience. In this video, we are going to look at an example of an automation. This automation is written using a framework, which is a framework we designed in the full course. It's going to be an e-commerce end-to-end checkout automation. So we're going to run through the test case manually first, then we are going to run the code. We're not going to write a code in this particular video because this is supposed to be a demo. The main purpose being First, if you're new and if you're just exploring the QA, QA field, just to show you what, how awesome or how cool um, automation is, just to show you a, a quick test case running, all right? And if you already know what automation looks like, maybe this is motivation or an example test case for you to practice on, all right? And if you're new and you're still just considering this field, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a great field. It opens up door to you know so many things it's just an awesome field to get into and i have a free full course on introduction to qa okay i'll put it i put the link uh in the description down down below the video all right so i really do recommend for you to check it out so let's go ahead and take start taking a look at the test case all right so we are going to dive right into the test case and work on it but meanwhile please go ahead and like the video and do subscribe to this channel. There are a lot of great things coming to this channel. One of them being a live course. I'm trying to teach QA or introduction to QA, what the field is all about. The, the video I mentioned earlier, the video course I mentioned earlier, I want to do it live. So I'm planning, I'm putting information together to actually go live and do it on YouTube. So do subscribe. It's a huge advantage for you. All right. And of course, like the video if you do like it. All right. So, Let's go to the e-commerce site. You can go to demostore.spreadsqa.com if you just want to explore. This is a site we create in the course. This is for everybody. I also have another free course on how to create this. So for you to practice, you can do anything with it. Uh, this one is public. Everybody can access it. Uh, you can create your own. So the one the one I'm going to run actually is localhost, and I'm just going to call it local demo, demo store, which looks exactly like that, but this one is running locally. And this one is accessible to the web. So in this particular case, I'm going to do it here. So the test case is going to be basically you an end-to-end, -end, the, checkout, the checkout flow. It's going to come, add the first item to cart, and it's going to go to cart. It's actually going to go straight to the URL cart. And it's going to come here, and it's going to check out. The thing is, um, since this is a demo site, right, we cannot process credit cards. So the trick is to use a coupon. There is a coupon called SSQA100 which is 100% off, it will, it will make this total uh, total of zero so you can check out. So the automation is going to do that. It's going to apply the coupon, click on here, actually val validate it is success. Then it's going to click on checkout. Then it's going to come here. It's going to fill in all this information, whatever is the needed information, required information. It's not going to do company name, for example. Uh, let me just fill this out quickly. I can do San Francisco. That's not the zip code, but I'm going to do that anyways. And I can do test at supersqa.com. It's not going to create this. It's not going to click this to create an account. And it's just going to click on place order. And it, uh, it is going to verify order received page loads, or it also verifies the URL. All right, so this is a test case. This is something you would do manually. If you're a tester, a QA for this e-commerce uh, company, this is one of the test cases you do, right? Making sure orders go through properly. Now we go into the code. So this is the code for the course. Uh, the course is fully from scratch, right? Python, everything from Python, everything for Selenium. Then we started to build a framework, okay? So this is the framework we have. And uh, the test we're going to look at in this example is an end-to-end -end case for checkout flow. So if we just quickly just take a look at the code, this is a test. There's only one test in this class. All right. So it's going to create a bunch of objects. Those are just different objects. We use a page object model, POM, page object model, which means every page has, is designed as a class and all the functionalities of the page is part of the class. Okay. So the first thing it does is it goes to the home page, adds item to the cart, waits until the cart is actually updated because the code runs so fast, uh, it gets into the cart page without before the cart is actually updated. So I needed to add this step. 
then it's going to click on the cart on the right header to go to the cart page and it verifies the cart actually has the item that we expect then it's going to apply a free coupon like we said i have a sleep here because i was having issues last time in fact let me delete it my computer was really running really slow so the test was failing so i was i was experimenting with sleeps anyways it clicks on checkout it fills in all the information i filled in manually so and it is going to click on place order and it's going to verify the order is placed not only that is it's going to make an api call to the back end and actually verify the database is updated okay because you never know right the front end can say yeah everything is good to go but it never really sent the order back to the back end right so it's a good practice to actually check the back end make sure the order went through you can do it via api you can do it via via uh, database i think this is showing uh, doing both technically all right so let us run it so i'm going to go to my terminal i have a virtual environment already activated by the way if you're new like i said this is meant to be for new people so a lot of the stuff i say it's not going to make sense obviously it's not going to make sense when you're reading the code you can infer it just by reading it like it says click on cart button then it makes sense but you're not you, you're not expected to know all this without actually going through some kind of python tutorial this is all python code and the full course will teach you everything from scratch including virtual environment when i say virtual environment that might sound like a super complicated thing but it's not all right so i'm going to run a test i'm, I'm in the right folder if i do pwd I, i'm an SSQA test so the framework we built is on top of pytest pytest is our runner so i'm going to do pytest in fact i'm going to uh, specify exactly the test i want to run because there's a bunch of tests here i want to run tcid 33 so i do dash m for marker tcid 33 i also want a, a report i'm going to do html and i'm going to demo result.html and that and i'm it's i'm telling it to find the test and tests here actually let's put it in this folder as you can see there is this results folder oh it has a bunch of things let's delete all that okay so we know everything is from scratch okay now we see it's empty now let's run it and let's watch you're going to see a new browser open here as, as you can see new browser with a chrome opened i'm going to move this to the side it's clicking and it's going to cart it applied the coupon is going so fast right and now it's going to click on proceed to check out it filled in all the information it clicked on place order and is waiting for the page to load voila passed it's done and if we look at the report now in the results we have demo result we can i can do this and open it up right there and chrome uh, it opened it in my other monitor there you go so reports just one test right run if it was multiple tests it would be a whole lot of tests that we show up here right that's a quick quick demo of the test everything we did we it took us maybe two three minutes to do it manually right especially if you're doing it the first time the automation did it in like 19 seconds or so in just few seconds the automation was able to complete in 19 seconds all right let me let's run it one more time so you can see it and it actually closes the browser when it's finished so let's go let's go into the home page it just added to cart to verify the cart is updated it went to cart it applied the coupon now it's clicking on proceed to check out it filled in all the form and clicked on place order and it is waiting to a success page and done all right so this was a demo of a, a test case an entry test case it took like 19 seconds to run of course it takes a lot longer to write the code but the point is you can run execute thousands of tests in, in a matter of hours when you have automation that's why automation is so great and if you want to learn more about automation follow me and also consider taking the course you can take the course on my site superskway.com you can also take it on udemy i'll put coupons at the bottom of this video please do use the coupons because udemy will take like uh 20 it will give me 25 to 50 percent if you don't use the coupon so it would be a good you know a, gr a good help for me if you actually use the coupon if you decide to use to take it on udemy if you want to take it on the site there's all kinds of deals going on on the site and it's a bundle deal um you can only find bundles on the website so that's the best way to do it all right please do ask questions uh, write comments i'm always here to respond thank you very much